Recently, I did this video right here that talked about the crazy increases in statue prices, and I specifically targeted the company called Prime One Studio. And that got me thinking, in 2022, with these crazy statue prices, which company is actually the best company? Did you hear that? As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into the Extreme channel. My name is Mr. X and this channel is all about extreme collectibles, specifically high-end statues. Now when it comes to buying a high-end statue, you have a lot of different companies you can choose from and all have their own merits in some way, shape or form. But today I wanted to talk about, in my opinion, what are the top 10 best statue companies of 2022. Now there's a lot of different things we could judge them on. We could judge them on customer service. We could judge them on value. We could judge them on marketing. But honestly, I don't care about the companies. I care about the products they produce. So today I'm going to count down the companies that make the best statues. Simple as that. I'm going to throw aside price. I'm going to throw aside customer service. And since I bought from every single one of these companies, I'm going to highlight one or two of my favorites that I actually own or have owned from that specific company. For the most part, I still own all those because they're my favorites. Now, I originally came up with the top 10, but, but there was one more that I wanted to get in, so I slipped it in there. That's what she said. Now, these 11 companies, there are other companies out there that I haven't highlighted either because I haven't bought from them or maybe I just forgot about them because I haven't bought that much from them. Keep in mind, if I factored in other things, especially value with number 11 here, they would probably be ranked up higher. That is why I put first four figures as number 11. I think they offer incredible value, but I'm not considering that. I'm just seeing if they put out the best statues and I don't believe they do. They specifically focus on anime and video game, primarily video games. And I own a number of video game statues from them. And while they are last on my list, they are definitely a great company. And my favorite statue from them is actually this recently reviewed Mega Man. They have tons of Mega Man statues. And what I love about first four figures, a lot of it ties back to my childhood when I actually played video games. Number 10 is PCS, formerly Pop Culture Shock Collectibles or toys or whatever the hell it was called. So PCS, Premium Collectibles Services, I don't know what the hell they're called. Now they're called PCS. Now PCS is an interesting cat. They've been around for a long time. They went through ownership changes. Their quality was horrible. I remember at one time we were waiting three or four years for statues, but they do continually to throw out good pieces here and there. And like first four figures, they do have some good value that we're not ranking today. They really have a plethora of stuff, anywhere from wrestling pieces to video game pieces, horror and more. And my favorite piece, from PCS, actually this werewolf from The Howling, one of my favorite horror movies growing up, my favorite, my favorite werewolf movie, and I have a lot of nostalgia with this piece as well. Number nine, I'm gonna put as Sideshow, which is so crazy because when I got in the statue collecting game, I think it was six or seven years ago, I thought Sideshow was the best. They clearly have the best marketing and they even distribute for a lot of the other companies we're gonna talk about today. But honestly, their selection and a lot of the quality of some of their statues that come out nowadays seems to have gone downhill quite a bit. Now they're still a good statue. And again, just like the other companies we talked about, they haven't seen these massive price increases that other companies have. But what's interesting to me is I remember at one time I would have 40 or 50 pre-orders through Sideshow with half of them being Sideshow statues. Now I have maybe five with one of them being a Sideshow statue. But I still think to this date, they put one of the best Marvel pieces ever made out. That is their Thanos on throne. This really put them on the map. And this piece is still impressive today. Mine has a few custom switch outs as you see in the picture, but Sideshow comes in at number nine. Number eight is one that probably should be ranked a little bit higher, but Tweeterhead. Tweeterhead has been killing it these last two years. Their pieces look absolutely fabulous. They do a lot of one six scale, which I don't really have for my collection, but I've owned a few of them and they look fantastic. They also have some other smaller scales, but I've seen them getting into the bigger one fourth. One thing I don't like about Tweeter is the delays. Again, we're not ranking it, just kind of giving my opinion and the lack of communication. My favorite piece from them was actually this Hordak that they put out. I owned it for a short time because I eventually got rid of my Masters of the Universe line. Number seven is actually one I would have ranked number two probably three years ago. That's XM Studios. I still think XM Studios makes some fantastic products. Some of my favorite in my collection are from XM Studios and I probably have anywhere from 10 to 30 XM Studios pieces on order. Now I'm very happy with them. However, I have noticed a little bit of a decline and sometimes they just knock it out of the park though and it's just absolutely amazing. Case in point, when their Hulkbuster came out, 
This is my favorite XM piece that they've ever done. I still own it. I will never get rid of it. But recently, this Predator on Throne piece came out, which I was absolutely wowed by. So they still continue to put out good pieces, but I feel like in the past, four out of five pieces they would put out were amazing, and now it's probably two or three out of five. That's why they're ranked a little bit lower on the list at number seven. Number six for me is ECC and Cinemaquette. Again, another company that used to rank quite a bit higher, but I think they've gone downhill a little bit. And maybe it's not that these companies have gone downhill, just the competition has maybe stepped it up. So ECC, I've owned so many different pieces from them, and I, they do really good with especially movie and horror pieces. But my favorite they've ever done is still their one-third scale Marcus and Lycan maquettes from the Underworld movies. I thought the Underworld movies were very entertaining. I love the concept, of course, vampires versus werewolves. However, these pieces look absolutely amazing. That's why I keep them, even though I don't think the movies are amazing. Number five is Queen Studios. So Queen Studios is fairly new, and I really like Queen Studios. Queen Studios not only has excellent customer service, but they listen to their fans, and they continue to put out great pieces. I've owned a number of life-size busts, and I, don't, I honestly don't know which one is my favorite, so I didn't list a favorite for this because I bought some other pieces and have some other pieces on order. I think I have four or five of them shipping in the next few months. So props to Queen Studios, they continue to raise the bar on the quantity of pieces they put out, especially their movie DC and movie MCU pieces. And I like that they do a whole bunch of different scales, that is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to some of the life-size pieces, and I'm not talking about life-size busts, but life-size pieces I have on order from them. Number four isn't a specific company, but because a huge portion of my collection is custom, so those are private, unlicensed commissions, I have to put the customs in here. Now, this is kind of a difficult thing because half the customs I have are probably last on this list, then the other half are probably on top. But I probably like buying customs. I'd rank it as number four compared to the other companies. Some of the concepts are just so fantastic. They do characters that won't be done by licensed companies. And to this day, my favorite statue is still a custom. It is this silver surfer coming out of a black hole. And I'm willing to bet of my 10 favorite statues in my collection, probably at least five of them are customs. Number three, I actually only have one piece from the studio. I have a few more on order, but J and D. And the reason they're so high is because the one piece I have, this Wonder Woman right here, every time I look at this, it kind of takes my breath away. And it's something that's not captured in pictures and video. And based on how quickly they sell out of all their other pieces, despite the very high price tag. And then you add on the fact that on the aftermarket, they're sold for a lot. I have to say they are putting out amazing pieces, mostly comic book movie related. So if that's not your thing, you're probably not a big buyer from them. But I'm really excited to get more pieces from them. Now we're down to the top two. So while you try and guess what those are, I'm gonna let you know, one of them is not Infinity Studios. Very popular company right now. I've owned a number of Infinity Studio products. I have some more on order. And some of the ones I've ordered, I just wasn't very happy with. Now I'm not talking about their life-size bus. I've never seen one of those in person. I do have some on order. And while this wouldn't account into the ranking, their production time is three to five years, which is really, really annoying in my opinion. I really didn't want to put them on the list because they would be dead last because of all the pieces I have owned from them, I was not a fan. But number two is a company I don't buy from very often. But I have to admit, whenever I do, I am extremely impressed with their pieces. That is Figurama. Figurama does mostly anime. And I remember when they came on the scene, they had the worst customer service of any company out there. It was horribly bad. They have improved it greatly, but my favorite piece from them is this attack on Titan Diorama. And they have some absolutely amazing pieces, but I'm definitely, definitely a big fan of them. And while I'm not huge into anime, it'd be cool if they got like a Berserk license because I love Berserk so much. Now, before I get to number one, I'm gonna let you know, it's not Sume, it's not Iron Studios. Those would probably be in the 10 to 15 range, obviously. Although maybe Sume would be higher. I just haven't owned that many pieces from them. In Iron Studios, I really didn't put on the list because I just remembered them now and I don't wanna go back and edit it. But my guess is they'd probably be right around the number 10 mark for me. But my number one is not a makeup video. It's not to make them feel better, but I still believe Prime One Studio puts out the best products, not only the quantity, but the quality. And I love what they're doing. So many different licenses. And every time I get a Prime One Studios piece, or at least the majority of the time, I am always really impressed. And I notice when I'm selling pieces, rarely is it Prime One Studio pieces. So it's impossible to pick a favorite from them, not only what I have, but what's coming in. But if I had to of what I currently have, the Alien Dog is still pretty hard to beat, in my opinion. And of course, I would throw both Hush Superman and their Doomsday one third. Still own those pieces. Definitely the best Superman ever made. And that Doomsday is an absolute grail. 
And then, you know, my favorite at this time may be the Batman Who Laughs. I don't know. I go back and forth from these four pieces and even a few different ones. But they just continually kill pieces that no other company does. So I think they are the best in the game 2022. They probably were last year. And I remember probably around 2018, 19, when they really started stepping up their game. So to me, they are the winner. Right now, they're the best in the game. But I think a lot of those, especially two through five, could easily edge them out very quickly. Now, this is my favorite part of the video. I read every single comment. Throw down in the comments below what you would rank your top three. Throw that in the comments below. I'll check it out. And it may enter you into a drawing to win a statue. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Again, please comment below. Also, like this video. It really, really helps the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Check out some of these other, other, other videos.